So today I thought of testing few makeup hacks I've seen on TikTok. I see one every day and like I thought of saving all of them and making a whole tutorial. So that's today's video. YouTube has been removing people from subscriptions. Maybe you're just doing it because I suck. <laughs> it would be nice if you just subscribe and like the video. Okay, let's start. Shout out to whoever came up with this bra. It's the U-shaped sticky bra that I picked up from Amazon. Dude, you can't even tell that I have a bra on because how do you have nothing in the center? Like it's this process. Like I wish I could show you, but it's pretty much seamless. Like you can't see straps, you can't see anything. And like you can have a cleavage if you want because it's like a U shape in the center. I love it. The next innovation that blew my mind away is the Chi hair colors. As you can see, one side of my hair is curly. The other side is my natural flat hair. I'm going to curl my hair and show you. Also, don't mind these extensions. These are so embarrassing, but I need to show you this hair color. You take a little bit of hair and you put it right in the center. It's, it's shaped like a clit. Like right, put, it, put the hair right in the clit, okay? And then you press three times and the machine, the curler twirls it for you like three times and then you keep it on for some time and then you release and you have curls let me show you on this side where I have my natural straight hair so you want to take a little hair not too much and then you take that hair color you make sure the clit part is facing away from your head and then you put some hair in there press thrice one two three and the best part is that the curler doesn't get hot at all so you can place it on your earlobe your neck your head it won't burn off your face you hear the sound and then you release it and you get those beautiful curls. It's like the perfect curly curl curls. I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna keep curling my hair just to show you how you can go about it. I, I, I don't know who I watched on TikTok, but I was like, let me place an order. I don't think it's that awesome. It is. I love curling my hair. Like I love curly hair on me, but I can never get like curly wavy hair because I always end up burning my face. It's like find me one person who hasn't burnt off their face, but make sure you press thrice. I'll show you what happens if you press two times, one and two and I'm gonna keep it in for some time until I hear the beep. And after the beep, I release it, and you can see how flat the curl is. Like, it's pretty, but the bottom is not curly. It's, see, it's so long and straight. So here is like a fully bouncy curl when I've pressed three times versus only two times. So, you know, you gotta press according to your hair. Maybe if you have longer hair, you gotta press like four or five times. For the longest time, I'm like walking around with curly hair, and people are like, whoa, you have too much time in your hands to curl, you curl your hair every day. No, it's just this machine. But yeah, look at these girls, so pretty. So yeah, I would highly recommend. I got this from Amazon, link is in the description. So next on, I found this video where a girl just puts on some moisturizing cream and then she puts powder and then on top of that, she sets her face. And after that, she goes on with her foundation and then she talks about how amazing her skin looks and it doesn't transfer. So I decided to use the Function of Beauty moisturizer. I took some and I dotted all over my face. I patted it down. And then I also used a brush to just distribute the moisturizer and I didn't notice, but the brush was dirty. It had foundation on it, but Make sure you have a clear brush, all right? And then after that, I went in with this powder. It's the Fit Me Loose Powder. Tap it out and just go crazy. It made my skin look a little ashy. I don't like it, but you gotta put it all over your face. She went in with the Morphe Setting Spray. I cannot tell you, like, bro, this felt so disgusting. I was like, what am I doing? It felt so off and my skin looks ashy, right? I was just like, what is this? So you wanna air dry this and make sure you don't smack yourself because I've been there and done that. And then after that, oh, by the way, also I wanna talk about this hair serum. It's such the usual one, I don't know how to say it. Anti-frizz shiny serum. It's one of the best uh, serums I've used to tame your frizz. Like I take just one pump and then I rub it over my palms like that. And then I just use this motion. I kind of pat it slightly. So I just take my palms and I press it on my hair like that. And I, I'll tell you how I discovered this product. Like I put this in my basket on accident. And I was like, wait, I didn't order this. And I fell in love with this product. Anyway, going back to the foundation routine. I'm just covering up my acne scars mostly because I want my base to be a bit natural. So that's what I did. So far, I mean, my base looked very, very nice. Okay, the process is a little weird, but I like my base. I would give that like a 7 out of 10. But yeah, I'm just buffing it all over my face. And my skin looked pretty like natural. This is more of a very dewy foundation look. It felt like I had nothing on my skin. Moving on to the next TikTok, I saw this. It's called the Get the Models glow where she noticed that every model has like a triangle brightening effect in the center of their face so she took a white like a really bright white concealer and then she drew a triangle all over her face like starting from her eyebrows connecting it to her cupid's bow and then she blended out that concealer so i decided to use the rare beauty concealer and i drew on top of my brows connected to my cupid's bow just like she did and i want to be honest i don't i didn't see a huge difference but well it did brighten my skin but i would still prefer to just apply concealer under my eyes 
why versus the whole triangle thing, you know? I don't know, it didn't make a huge difference. But then I used the NYX, uh, NYX Dark Foundation and I just used it to bronze up my skin. Um, I love using a cream bronzer. It immediately makes me look super, super bronzed up. But also, guys, bronze up like under your chin, not your jawline, but bring it under, like right under your chin. I get down uh, to your neck. I've seen this on Tati's uh, makeup video, but then I just use an eliminator, eliminator all over my body and then my cheeks, cheeks, cheekbones, and just spit it out. Next TikTok is just a nose contour hack. So she just took a little bronzer and put it like under the brows uh, and then she just like buffed it out and she puts a lot of product oh, like right below her brows. I never knew why she did that, like a lot of bronzer. So I took up some bronzer powder and uh, make sure it kind of goes with your skin it doesn't stand out and then i just put it right like right 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 below my brows so i'm starting to pinch my nose right from there and then i'm bringing it down my nose looks skinny overall and then this is my trick guys bake the tip of your nose and i'll tell you why in a second so i just baked my nose like just the tip and then i applied some contour and some blush all that and then i dusted out the nose and dude keeping your nose matte makes your nose instantly small the next tiktok i love model pictures like this it i've seen this on insta so many times where they have fluffy brows glowy skin and like light coverage and glossy lips so i love this video i've watched it like a million times and i want to recreate this look i got myself the got to be styling gel i'm gonna use this to fluff up my brows i take some in my spoolie i fluff up my brows I, so i'm trying my best over here but i'm just fluffing it up and then i'm gonna go ahead and use this brush it's such a cool brush from sigma i use it to just draw some fake eyebrow hairs and then just draw some hairs i hate the word hairs that pisses me off. What the fuck is hairs? And then I use my favorite mascara. It's the Essence Green Princess Mascara. Guys, I'm not even kidding. I used to use this all the time when I was in high school. It's so slept on. Like Now I'm more of a two-faced, uh, better than sex gal. But I used to love this mascara. Please, you gotta screenshot this and get this the next time you're at a drugstore. Because it's so inexpensive. And like it's the best. It's so, so inexpensive. It's crazy. It's so black, thick, and it makes your lashes super fluffy. After this, I've learned to go in back with a spoolie to just brush out the lashes. And they make it even more long. And fluffy and separate them and then after that i'm going in with a jacqueline hale morphe palette and then i'm using just like a rosy silver eyeshadow and i put it all over my lids then i'm using a dark pencil and then i'm just pulling in the inner corner of my eye instead of pulling the outside try to pull it more on the inside because if you're actually seeing like cats your inner corner is so elongated versus their outer corner so let's focus on pulling the inner corner more versus pulling the outer corner or you can do both and after doing that i saw this tiktok where this girl just used a brown shadow as liner that's really smart i didn't even think of that so she just takes a flat brush and she makes it look like eyeliner which i like i don't like to do liner because it can be very dark and just too strong for my face for my features so i like this technique where you use a brown shadow as liner so it, it's very soft and subtle and also damn it i forgot to do this eyeshadow look like look at her the way she does her eyeshadow it's crazy it's so it's so different and like it, it changed up her whole eye shape and her face too isn't it it makes her look like she's a little sad but but i like how it looks like smoky and sultry i love it so i, I wish i did it but i didn't but yeah moving on to lashes you want to opt for lashes that are shorter in the front and longer towards the end and that's how I cut them up and I place it then I take the tail of the lashes and I pull it up like that it instantly gives me an eye lift and then you pull up the ends a little higher than usual a lot of times I have like droopy lashes and this kind of fixed that for me so throughout the day you won't have droopy lashes you know so the next hack I found on TikTok was covering up your roots or your baby hairs with root cover-up product I think it's for like older people 50 40 60 but you can use it too to cover up any any bald spots so I have some right in the front I think we all do from tying up our hair in a bun and look at it now it makes me look like I have a full head of hair which I do but it's a little bald sometimes you know and finally I'm using my Morphe liquid lipstick um, all over my lips chapstick and then I totally forgot I was supposed to follow this makeup tutorial but she overlines her lips like crazy sweetie that's a whole mustache but she does such a good job I mean I used to walk around looking like this this is insane like she does such a better job so I went back and I got myself the MAC lip liner and then I drew on top of this like bro I used to go crazy if you remember so I drew on top of my top lip and drag it down and then you literally i'm literally drawing you have to draw on your face guys i'm literally drawing scribbling on my face if you want to say that but and then you just want to like pat it with a brush and then you're done so this is like the finished look you want to go in with some gloss and that's it i don't know how to pose it's been so long since i've done makeup do you know how beauty girls do this shit like why do we do that like relax yeah, let me know if you like it or maybe if you don't like it. Let me know whatever you want to let me know. So don't forget to like if you want to see me test out more hacks and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!